Did Dallas, Texas home prices crash? Last year, the experts predicted home price would actually plummet this year, but did they? We'll talk about the Dallas Fort Worth home prices and what you need to know right now if you want to sell your house or buy a home in the Dallas area this year. We're Brett and Molly Chance with Texas Home Life Realty here in Flower Mound, Texas. And we love helping people have the right information and guidance so they can make smart decisions and have peace of mind when selling or buying real estate. And that's why we're bringing you the mid-year report on the Dallas Fort Worth real estate market. We're going to give you a snapshot of the real estate market on a national level and then break it down to the local Dallas Fort Worth real estate market and what this means if you want to sell your house or buy a home in the Dallas area this year. Now, if you happen to read the mainstream news headlines these days, you're probably seeing and hearing some pretty unsettling things about the real estate market, nationally as well as locally here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. As you've heard us say in our last few market video updates, the last couple of years in the real estate market has been anything but normal. We refer to the last two years as the unicorn years in the housing market. In case you're not familiar with the term unicorn, it means something that is highly desirable and difficult to find or obtain. So when the media compares the 2023 real estate market with the last year or two, it's really an unfair comparison. And I would even consider 2020 as well as unfair comparison since that was the year that the pandemic hit. 2019 is actually our last quote, normal real estate market. Let me show you a few graphs to prove the comparison of 2022 and 2021 aren't fair. First, let's look at the showing traffic. This will show you the buyer's activity or showings on homes for sale. As you can see, activity is down this year compared to the last two years, but they are up if you look back at the 2019 market. Now, let's look at the percentage of homes appreciation. At a national level, home appreciation has dropped considerably when you compare it to the last two previous years. If you look back again at the 2019, it appears that you're right at the more normal appreciation. And our last graph shows the foreclosure filings nationwide. While they are on the rise, they're still low overall. There's no flood of foreclosures today. The majority of homeowners have such a large amount of equity in their homes, especially in the Dallas area where home prices or home values have increased so much over the last few years. During the fourth quarter of last year, quite a few housing experts predicted home prices were going to crash this year. Here are a few of those forecasts. Jeremy Siegel, a Russell E. Palmer professor emeritus of finance at the Wharton School of Business, said, I expect housing prices to fall 10 to 15% and the housing prices are accelerating on the downside. Mark Zandi, chief economist at Moody's Analytics stated, buckle in, assuming rates remain near their current 6.5% and the economy skirts recession, the national house prices will fall almost 10% peak to trough. Most of those declines will happen sooner rather than later and house prices will fall 20% if there's a typical recession. And Goldman Sachs wrote, housing is already cooling in the U.S. according to July data that was reported last week. As interest rates climb steadily higher, Goldman Sachs Research's G10 home price models suggest home prices will decline by around 5-10% to from the peak in the U.S. Economists at Goldman Sachs Research say there are risks that housing markets could decline more than their models suggest. The bad news about these predictions is that they rattled consumer confidence and put doubt in the minds of many consumers about the strength of the residential real estate market, which in turn caused people to hesitate about their home buying or selling plans as we entered into this new year. However, home prices didn't come crashing down and seem to be already rebounding from the minimal depreciation experienced during the second half of 2022. Goldman Sachs even recently reported the global housing market seems to be stabilizing faster than expected despite months of rising mortgage rates, according to Goldman Sachs Research. House prices are defying expectations and are rising in major economies such as the U.S. 
Those claims from Goldman Sachs were verified by the recent release of two indexes on home prices, Case Shiller and the FHFA. Here are the numbers each reported. And here is a more recent graph from CoreLogic showing even better news. Now we've looked at the real estate market at the national level. Let's focus in on the Dallas-Fort Worth real estate market. We'll give you an overview of the actual numbers in all four of the main counties in the DFW Metroplex, Dallas, Denton, Cullen, and Tarrant counties, and then give you a breakdown of what it actually means if you're wanting to sell your house or buy a home. This first graph shows you the inventory of homes for sale. We put up the numbers for April and May of this year, along with the number of homes for sale compared to a year ago. We definitely have more homes for sale right now than we did this time last year, but compared to 2019, we're still very low on inventory. This second graph shows the percentage of the seller's original list price they are getting. The market peaked this time last year with homes selling in Collin County for up to 107% of the listed price. Homes are now selling for about 99% of the original list price. And then back in May of 2019, homes were selling for between 97 to 99% of the original listing price. Our third graph shows months of supply. All four counties are hovering around two months of inventory, which is up from this time last year. That means if not another home came on the market for sale, it would take about two months to sell everything currently for sale. That is not much, which also means that we are still in a seller's market. This last graph shows the median sales price. All four counties have increased in price except for Denton County in the last month. While home prices have definitely decreased from this time last year, you can see that we're still significantly higher than May of 2019. Okay, so what do all these numbers mean? There is still a mass migration of people moving to the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and we're still low on the number of homes for sale. This and the regular seasonality of the market is causing home prices to steadily increase although at a much slower pace than we saw in the last couple of unicorn years. We've seen a spike in multiple offers again, but not as much. One of the homes that we recently listed had nine offers in just a few days. And there are several factors that go into making a multiple offer situation more probable. And you can see more on that in our video on how to get multiple offers on your home. For those homes that aren't getting multiple offers, they're still mostly getting really close to their asking price. The key is still pricing the home right in the beginning. Homes for sale are really having to show the value for home buyers. Buyers aren't willing to pay crazy high prices for a home that needs a lot of work or updating. We're seeing buyers asking for more repairs or money in lieu of repairs on properties that aren't in top shape. We're also seeing more home buyers back out once they're under contract on a home. Now, the reasons vary, but typically it's either because they can't come to an agreement with the seller on repairs during the option period or because they just get cold feet. For home buyers, one of the biggest things we would suggest you do before ever going shopping for a home is to talk to your mortgage lender about what you feel comfortable in paying for a home. Look at all the costs and make sure you stay in communication with your lender to know if and when interest rates do change because that will definitely affect your monthly payments. Things are definitely looking pretty positive for the local Dallas-Fort Worth real estate market on a whole. If you have any questions about selling your house or buying a home in the DFW area, give us a call or check out another one of our videos about the best Dallas suburbs.